Closing the referee on stage, Mr. Krishnanath Bunya. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting from the red corner, 31 years of age. He's down at 167 centimeters tall and weighted it at 39.5 pounds. He will record up 36 wins and 17 losses. Representing Upon Rajatani Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Pet Met Boy Go Kesado! Fighting on the blue corner, 35 years of age. He stands at 178 trees in the middle saw and went over it and 40.8 pounds. He holds a record of 80 wins, 20 losses and 5 draws. Representing China, Province, Thailand. The children for Pra 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 First bail bout of the evening here on this week's RWS second bout of the prelims. Here we go. Fight taking place at 141 pounds as one pound over the super lightweight limit. This is not, you can see in the background there, the wrong fight is. <laughs> Pet Medmai in the red and Prab Prab in the blue. Yes, like I said, Pet Medmai, not new to RWS, not new to Rajanandan Stadium. Been competing here many, many times already. Ooh. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he competes against a fellow TIE fight. Good luck to the body there from the WBC International Champion. And again, good uppercut. Like I say, he's fought against two very good non-Thai fighters in uh, James Kostic and Thiago from Ken Muay Thai from Belgium. And tonight, he gets to fight a Thai fighter. Sometimes that can be a difference maker, just the flow, just the way that sometimes, in three rounds especially, both the non-Thai fighters can come out make it very difficult for Thai fighters. They're used to us starting a little bit slow, and I think Ted Medmai has had to deal with that. And indeed, you can see here, he's putting it on Fram Prab. He's now understanding the three-round concept, and he's being more aggressive, which we haven't seen before from him. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and here we can see his experience really trying to actually win this first round, where Prab Prab actually taking his time right now, being more def defensive. Yeah, so for the people watching around the world and saying, well, what are you talking about with five rounds, how it can be that different? So the judges will actually score the fight as a whole. Even though it is round by round, the, the whole fight is viewed as the judges as one one big fight, essentially. So Thai fight is usually take it very slowly in rounds one and two because the fight is usually won in round four. And then by round five, they usually, usually decided between themselves and the, the corners, of course, will give them an indication of how well they're doing in the fight. So yeah, in the three rounds, of course, it's completely different. And Thai fighters are having to get used to it. In fact, I think that the foreign fighters understand the concept more so than the Thai fighters do. Not a bad round. Yeah, for Kapan towards the end. But Kapan Mai, ooh, definitely the more aggressive. Proud problem. He's actually starting the way we were talking about, right, Antoine? He's starting Absolutely. slow. And now, fighting back. Yeah. Pretty much up been on the defensive. And the first mm -hmm. half, I was going to say, the three quarters of this first round. Low kick there. Oh, oh. and again, more aggressive from Men Mai. End of round one. Mm. Like I said, Met my the more aggressive of the two of Papra. Feels like he's just trying to work him out in that round, just trying to download the information so you can see what he can do in rounds two and three to try and exploit his opponent. Let's have a look at the highlights. Ooh. Yeah, 
Early on, you can see Pep and Mai really pushing forward with those hands, working the body with the head. Oh, oh the nice. elbow. Always great to see that. I always, when I see that, I always think. Number two, Pepin Mai, still the one pushing forward. Oof. Oh, that right hand, I think it got through. Mm. Oh, oh, what an elbow. Beautiful technique, and again, right hand and left elbow there from Prof. Right? We said he needs to be more aggressive. And we said during the highlights when we saw that elbow that he does possess some good weapons, and indeed he's going back to those elbow strikes. I feel that smart from Pra Pra, but Med Medmai has now got to be very wary of that. Absolutely, perhaps a warning oh. sign, but Medmai does not care about that at all. Still pushing forward, looking to engage in a fiction position. Pra Pra really just defending himself yeah. right now. And we need to see a lot more. Still on the back foot. Perhaps. Oh! <laughs> right elbow there, big one from Pra Pra. I was going to say, perhaps looking to counter, but first... Yeah, beautiful one-two combination though from Pet Pet Mai. Just to let Pra Pra know that those elbows, even though they connected, didn't hurt. And again, you can see he's looking for that left elbow. He's using that left arm as a decoy. Oh, good body strike. Get oh, the he's hurt. Oh, problems. He's hurt. Big problems. Oh, and again. He should be going over him and down goes Brabram. It's got to be it. Oh, he stands back up and the referee weighs it off. He can see in the eyes. Beautiful <laughs> body strikes there from a pet bed mine. And that's Antoine and I always say, if you cannot find the head, they go to the body. And once again, it proves that you can knock your opponents out with body strikes here on RWS, even though that is gloves, a standard size. If you connect, if you've got the technical ability, you're able to knock your opponent out. We see it week after week. Let's have a look at the replay here. What exactly happens? Oh, right beautiful hand. right body shot. And after that one, okay. it's just going for the kill, really. Oh. Yeah, you can see straight away, as soon as it connected, he started to turn his back. He started to almost there. He almost started to walk oh. away. And Pet Ben Mai just jumped all over him. And he just could not defend himself. Let's have a look at it there. Oh, oh. solar plexus. Oh, big body shot there. You see the grimace on the face. <laughs> and then from there on out, it was just all about borrowed time. Even though he was covering up. Whew. I've only think he took one more shot. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Here's the one. Bam. Back to the good. And one more for good measure. Congratulations to Pet Pet Mine. Ladies and gentlemen, of the one minute and 43 seconds of the second round, we have a winner by way of no Ray. Oh,